art has really made me aware of my unique upbringing and it has also really made me value all the complexity that is within you know our daily lives. My name is Aline Lin and I'm an artist. I was born in Taiwan and I grew up in Thailand. My family immigrated over to Thailand when I was around six years old. Um, I always loved drawing and painting as a kid um, and especially moving to Thailand I didn't actually know a single word of English or Thai so painting and drawing became a way for me to express myself and communicate with others and I studied my undergraduate in London UK at the Slate School of Fine Art and I came here to the States to pursue my MFA from Yale School of Art. I was actually pretty lucky right after um, my master's that I actually had someone represent me um, a gallery representing me and, and selling my work, but um, during the recession, you know, in 2008, um, it took a really big turn and I ended up having to find part-time jobs um, here and there. And I did, you know, I did teaching jobs, um, I had art consulting jobs, and eventually you sort of pull yourself back up to be financially stable, but I think it's really important for me to also focus in my studio practices, so I never sort of let that go. And once the economy got better and things were, <laughs> were, were doing well, then I, I knew that I had to quit those jobs to fully focus my time in the studio. I grew up as a third culture kid, which I would define it as a person who grew up uh, with more than one culture. I'm more sensitive into spotting those cultural hybridities and collision that happens in the worlds around us. So um, on top of these differences, I'm also really aware of our similarities. I feel like there is a sort of collective consciousness that happens throughout different cultures and different backgrounds. And it's through these variations that I'm really interested in to retelling a story that is really relevant to the social conditions of, of what, you know, what's around us today. I think my paintings are always meant to provoke a dialogue or, um, or an exchange. Um, it's never about giving a, a definitive statement. Um, there's a lot of ambiguity that, and the cynicism that is embedded in, in the painting and it's meant to trigger a conversation. And I want people to be able to come together and discuss and then to find a common ground despite our cultural differences. Um, the obvious challenges are, you know, how do you find um, more exposure for your work and also how do you be financially stable, like sell work to be financially stable. But I think for me the more crucial challenges are all within the studio. Painting is hard and painting itself is a challenge so how do I, you know, what do I need to do with this composition? How do I paint this part of the painting? And also how do I bring something new into every painting? And those are the challenges that I face on a daily basis. As an artist, there are a lot of ups and downs. And you know, applying for fellowship and residency is always a hit or miss. And you just have to understand that art is subjective. And um, knowing that I've done my best um, always helps me to transfer that negative response into energies of wanting to be better. And for me, it's like to be an artist, you have to be resilient. I think being an artist now then, and, and compared to being an artist in a history is very different. Um, now you do need people skills and back then you could just, you know, shut yourself off in a studio and, and create. Um, I'm actually um, a very shy person. <laughs> but knowing that you have to be here pushing your work, you know, you sort of have to force yourself to be a little more, bit more outspoken. I think for any young artist, it's like you really need to learn to um, persevere and to really learn from your environment and, and willing to make changes. 